Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we'll consider finding the Z-transform of the given signal X of N, wherein X of N is equal to N minus 0.5 to the power N U of N convolved with 4 to the power N U of minus N. So how do we find this? So what we do is, if I observe this closely, it is nothing but Z-transform, I mean the convolution of two signals. Is that okay? So we know that convolution of two signal is nothing but multiplication of them in Z domain. Is that fine? So using that concept, I can find the Z transform of X of N. So what I do here is, uh, let uh, I would uh, say this part, the first signal as, I would represent this as X1 of N and the second signal I would represent this as X2 of N. So what happens if I do so? I can write let therefore let the given signal x of n is equal to x1 of n convolved with x2 of n so if i take the z transform on this that is x of z because z transform of x of n is nothing but x of z that is equal to x1 of z that gets multiplied with x2 of z. Is this fine? Now the task is I have to find uh, the z transform of x1 of n and z transform of x2 of n multiply the result so that I would get the answer x of z. So that will do it. What, what we do here is x1 of n so I would say consider consider x1 of n is equal to what is that equal to it is n into minus 0.5 to the power n u of n is this fine now taking z transform on both the sides so what happens now this is equal to x1 of z that is equal to so now if I observe this cl uh, closely using the standard result is nothing but the let the given signal be n into alpha to the power n u of n the z transform of such a standard result is equal to what it is nothing but alpha z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse to the power square. So this is nothing but the standard result of x of uh, n wherein uh, x of n is equal to n into alpha to the power n u of n. So making use of this result I can find x of x1 of z. So therefore in place of alpha uh, I have minus 0.5. So alpha z inverse that becomes minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 that gets divided by 1 minus alpha alpha is minus 0.5 minus of minus this becomes plus uh, plus 0.5 z inverse z to the power minus 1 whole square and uh, what is the ROC? ROC is nothing but point phi z inverse 0.5 z inverse must be greater than 1 is this is this fine yes this is how I find x1 of z similarly moving on further I can uh, find uh, x2 of z for that let me consider uh, let me write consider x2 of n is equal to 4 to the power n u of minus n. So how do I find the z transform of this? So let me write x2 of z is equal to so now I can make use of the formula of z transform that is summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity x of n x of n z to the power minus n 
this time x of n is nothing but x2 of n in this case that is equal to so let me substitute summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity in place of x2 of n i have 4 to the power n u of minus n z to the power minus n is this fine so moving on further so what happens to the limit summation n equal to that will change with respect to u of minus n u of minus n is nothing but a reflected version of unit step signal therefore that exists from minus infinity till zero is this fine 4 to the power n in that range u of minus n is nothing but 1 z to the power minus n is this fine yes moving on further yes uh, for the limits I want the positive limits to make use of the standard geometric series uh, I should have the positive uh, limits for that what I do is I will put I will put m put m is equal to minus n therefore x2 of z x2 of z becomes equal to now m is equal to that becomes positive limit infinity to 0 4 to the power earlier it was n now it becomes minus m z to the power minus n becomes m is this fine yes moving on further summation m is equal to so I'll interchange the limits lower limit I'll let it uh, be 0 and upper limit I will write it as infinity now I will arrange uh, whatever the terms here that is 4 to the power minus 1 z and I would take n uh, m out is this fine so if I compare this with the standard geometric series what does that say summation m equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power m is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so now I can make use of this standard uh, result of the geometric series and I can simplify this as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha I have 4 to the power minus 1 z is this fine and what is the region of convergence region of convergence ROC is nothing but 4 to the power minus 1 z magnitude of this must be uh, it must be less than 1 is this fine yes uh, here also I think the ROC this should have been less than 1 yes now let me simplify this a bit further this is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus z divided by 4 so if I take the LCM I'm going to get 4 divided by 4 minus z and similarly what would be the ROC so this is nothing but magnitude of z divided by 4 must be less than 1 as good as mod z must be less than 4 this is the ROC of the second uh, signal and with respect to the first uh, this is as good as 0.5 divided by z must be less than 1 so if I take z to the right hand side it is as good as mod z must be greater than 0.5 so ultimate ROC is it, it is intersection of this thing mod z must be greater than 0.5 and it must be less than 4 therefore x x of z is equal to that is x1 of z in place of x1 of z we have this result in place of x1 of z we have that result so let me write that result over here yes uh, I would write the result of x1 of z as minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 whole square this is the first one plus uh, not plus it gets multiplied right so this is this gets multiplied with this x2 of z what is uh, x2 of z x2 of z is nothing but 4 divided by 4 minus 
z is this is this fine so if i compare these two expressions one is in terms of z to the power minus 1 another in terms of z to the z z to the power positive 1 so i can uh, make both terms look uh, together therefore uh, what happens is if i take uh, if i get multiply this with z to the power uh, plus 2 so ultimately i'm going to get 0.5 z 0.5 z that gets divided by z plus 0.5 square into the second one uh here also if i look this is z plus something i can make this also z plus or z minus of something so that i can take uh, minus 1 out if i take minus 1 out this becomes minus of minus plus so this is 4 divided by z minus 4 ultimately this is how x of z looks like and uh, its roc is nothing but mod z as i already said it is intersection of both must be greater than 0.5 and it must be less than 4 is this fine so ultimately this is x of z and this is the roc and roc i can uh, if i want i can plot that as well so let me plot the roc so that things become very clear and i would uh, draw here i should draw here uh, two circles this is the first one with the radius 0.5 and i would draw another one this is another circle with the radius 4 so let me indicate that this is the circle with the radius 0.5 and this is the circle with radius 4 is this fine and uh, whatever i have here this is nothing but the region of convergence so this i would call this as the region of convergence here i would indicate this as roc is this fine so i think i have explained this numerical uh, step by step i hope everyone has understood this if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section i'm and i'm happy to answer those uh, doubts Meanwhile thank you so much for watching